What's going on guys? I actually accidentally deleted my intro video so I don't have that file anymore so this video isn't gonna have an intro. Right now I'm just collecting the electric blue car fry I put into the 100 gallon in a previous video and we're gonna bring them up to Bills. Trade them in. So I get to use this thing for what I bought it for right now. Bucket of fish inside a bucket of fish flakes. We're at Bills. My fish are acclimating. We'll see what they got. Balloon body flower horns. Pretty dope. One thing that's crazy, a lot of people don't think of when they start keeping fish is you got like this guy right here who's like four inches and he turns into this. And they even get bigger than that. Same thing with this little guy. He's maybe the size of my pinky. He turns into this beast right here. He's not even fully grown either, and this is a 260 gallon aquarium. These guys right here, he's like, he's like the size of my hand almost. Turns into this. He's like 13 inches long, and these things get to three feet. So always make sure you know what you're buying and how big it can get. And also, YouTube Analytics tells me that a very small percentage of my viewers are subscribed. So if you like this video, please consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always unsubscribe at a later point if you would like. All right, I'm definitely gonna pick up a few of these Africans because mom wants them. You know, mom usually gets what she wants. Look at these little guys, electric blue jack Dempsey's. If you guys are new to the channel, I have a series on these guys. These guys are really hard to keep alive and I'm proving that it is possible for your average everyday fish keeper to keep them. I'll leave a link to that series in the description. We're gonna be moving the electric eel into a bigger aquarium and it so happens to be this 125 long. This fish is all of maybe eight inches long right now but they get huge. He's wild caught from Peru. Check out this Thai silk flower horn guys. Check this out. Nice. I'm actually pretty good friends with one of the employees at this store, and he also has a tie silk at his house. Maybe we'll check that out sometime. Thinking about touching the electric eel right now. I don't know. Like this video if you think I should touch the electric eel, man. Uh, crazy. I can't see. Like, you want me to be put in the net and you can touch, you can bring your hand to the bottom of the net? Yeah. You're gonna just reach in and touch it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that bad. He likes you. It's crazy, it's not shocking you in the water. It's not electrifying. Come on. Alright, hold on. <laughs> 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 oh! Oh yeah! It's like a oh gel. shit! Yeah, it's like a it ain't bad. Man, that weren't that bad. To be honest, I thought it was gonna be a lot worse, but it was just a quick little. All right, we're back at the 100 gallon. All we have left in here is Morpheus, my giant placo, two green terra cichlids, a Sylvini cichlid. Two electric blue Acaras, as well as two electric blue Jack Dempsey's, and I'm pretty sure that's the way it's gonna stay for a while. We also got a little surprise, but that's for another video. Peace.